Alright, and there we go. Uh, so we talked to the Fabulous Five. We are part of the Fabulous Five, the great big fat pyramid scheme of the Middle Ages. Uh, we found Madora. Was that it? Madora? Madora, yeah. Yeah, and she joined our course. She was in a bit of a scuffle. I, at this point, haven't had the time to to watch the video back and read what she says, but I imagine it's something like, hey, wouldn't you like another party member? And we were like, yeah, sure, that'd be cool. So now let's go investigate this crime scene over here. I guess that's with the Legionnaire? Yes. All right, so let's talk to him. Source Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' explicit approval. Wop, wop, wop. So we have to find a captain first, it seems. Yeah. All right, so let's go do that. Um, I guess that's just the Legion headquarters. It wants us to like do the story part first. I would expect so. Hmm. Watch out, Mel. Bendius. She's going to be grading with time, but I love her right now. I believe she's um, she's uh, experienced a lot of uh, fighting against Source Hunters, that it's made her a little too happy. Hmm. She was from the Northern School of Source Hunters, so. Hmm. And we are from the West. So take it with a personality that they're going for the, the North being a rough place where ruffians are made. Yeah. She also has grey hair. I believe she's probably older than yeah. us. Quite older than us. Let's see. This is the, I believe, the guards. There yes. Big ass sword on her back. She's like a uh, female girl. That's that's sergeant. Who we're looking for, captain. Uh, I totally remember. Let's just. Ah, let's use the log. No, that's not it. Uh Hmm, some wood. Oh, wait, wait, is it was that stealing? What up? Hmm. Nicking it anyway. Nobody saw a thing. Steal this chicken too. Get away, chicken! <laughs> Guess you can talk to the chickens too if you have the the skill board. Yep. Nice. Need to try that someday. Lost it, poultry. Look on the bright side. Everyone knows the ugly soldiers are the most ferocious. Ugly will be the least of it. The beast looks rabid. In that case, you'll have the pleasure of putting her down yourself. Ooh, it seems like there's some inf interesting uh, stuff going on here. The beast speaks. So you pop a brain behind a feral wall, have you? The Cretan's question crossed her lips and aped an ear of aptitude. Hmm. We might get a recruit. I think that yeah. Was an insult. That's Don't pay attention to the train up while you can. Let me encourage it. The next orcish strike will land. Hey, who's that then? Come on, stand where my good eye can see you. Holy shit! Oh, her face. God damn. Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. A curious situation you got is the woman in a cage and the rest. She may have the look of a woman case if you hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. Mm -hmm. We got reports of a strange looking outsider skulking through the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. Oh my god, the horror! I <laughs> tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what, and the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit tell you right in the face, she did. It wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. Goddamn. Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. And what will become of this admittedly strange stranger? Well, that's to be decided. She doesn't seem to be sick, despite Tully's moaning. We can't keep her here forever, but we can't well send her into the wilds again, can we? Perhaps it'd be worth taking the stranger under our wings. She'll likely come in handy if we can trust her to watch our backs. 
Or we hit Hunt Source and play Babysitter. Sorry, but we can't take responsibility for the first stranger. I'm gonna go with the first one. Perhaps it'll be hmm. worth taking this stranger under our wing. She'll likely come in handy if we can trust her to watch our backs. Hmm. So well, the fearless hunter might prove quite useful in our investigation, or there that's a mighty big if. We can have one of them blah blah blah. The fearless hunter might prove quite useful for our investigation. Mm. Well, that's a relief, ain't it? We found a good hunt there you go. Your yeah, companion. She's, she's chained to me. Team blonde down here. Heed me, source hunter. She's not good for anything more than cannon fodder. Well, that's still a use. Her when she's got that bow within arm's reach. Right, let's talk to her then. You say you will take me under your wing, but I see no feathers. Are you a child of the birds, as I am of the bears? I already like her. <laughs> I meant that I would be responsible for you. I'll keep you out of trouble. <laughs> a child of the bears, what does that mean exactly? And so the lonely babe was fed upon the wild mother's milk, and cast aside from humankind, he thrived among his mother's ilk. So says the saga of Thrice. Do you know it? Nope. The wise godwolf Amira raised the child Thrice among her litter. So you see, I have good company. Thrice the wolfson, and I the bear daughter. Okay. In truth, this is a relief. Your world is made with rules I have not yet memorized. I am happy to have a friend in such a place. And I'd like to ask you some ask questions. Freely, my friend. So you were raised by bears in the wild. Your city is far more wild than home forest. In home forest, the rules are clear. In home forest, your strength and speed determine your fate. Here, a tiny screech woman, no swifter than a mudworm, might confine you into a tiny cage. And one must wait for a kind stranger to grant freedom. <laughs> but how did you come to learn to speak? Oh, Jarrett. Wise Jarrett. Taught me the bird songs of your... Our people. If not for him, I would never have learned more than the beasts could teach me. A beast's life is to survive. A human's is to know. I am both beast and human. And so I must do both. You seem to know quite a lot of history for the daughter of a bear. How is this possible? Probably Jareth again. I have learned all the bird song that Jareth could teach. I remembered every word. These tales have brought me much pleasure. The remembering of the beasts is without lies. We know not to approach the wasp's nest because long ago one bear mother discovered its dangers. This she taught to her cubs and those cubs taught the next. We do not remember Rito and the Battle of the Buzzing Brutes. We remember only what is useful to us now. Rito will be forgotten. The beauty of the story will be forgotten. But the lesson will not. It is different between beasts and humans. I am lucky to enjoy both ways. Tell me about Jareth. He came to me when I was small. A fierce, wild one, yet unaware of the difference between the other cubs and herself. He called to me in a soft song. At first I thought him a great bird. We each reached out to the other. We found each other. Jarrett visited me often. And in time I learned his songs and more. When he built a small cabin within Home Forest, I hunted his food and fetched his water by day while he studied his books and his magics. By night, by the fire, he'd tell me tales of the world of people. Jared is my master and my friend, my teacher and myself. He teaches me and I care for him. Why have you come to Sice? I heard this was a place of many people, so here I came. I have seen more faces here in a day than I had seen in all the days of my life together. But I have not found the face I seek. Jared is missing. It is my duty to find him. Have you any clues what Jareth might be? That mystery is thick and ugly as a swarm of hornets. It started with a great disturbance in Home Forest. A terrible disease came in the night and turned the birds and beasts soft and foul as carrion while they still lived. 
I watched countless of my loved ones die, rotted from the inside. When I ran to Jarrett to tell him what I had seen, his reaction was strange. He had no answer. The next morning, Jarrett did not emerge from his room. I left him be, but after three days I grew anxious. I broke down the door and inside his chamber was nothing. His equipment, his books, all but some scraps of parchment were gone. He was kidnapped and all his research was taken with him. The only clue I found was a letter among the scraps. I, I could not make out all the words, but I recognized the threat. Death coming for you. And the signature? Attenborough. I do not know the one called Attenborough, but I know that if I am to find Jarrett, I must start there. Whoever this Attenborough may be, I believe he or she may know where Jarrett has been taken. I'll take my leave. So that's pretty interesting. So now we have a quest to find Jareth as well. Mm. Talk to talk to her again. Yeah. Talk to her again. Yeah. I have heard tales both grand and terrible about the world of humans. I myself was caged one moment and freed the next by your our kind. In Home Forest, every creature acts according to the nature of its kind. Birds frighten easily. Badgers fear little. But amongst men, there are no guarantees. There is little in our world more valuable, variable than the minds of men. It is the source of great beauty and much despair, and all of it uniquely human. Yes, as you've noticed, we are an unpredictable species that's likely to kill us to heal. It best be wary of those you meet for this very reason. I like the first one better. Mm. It is difficult for me to claim humanity as you do. I am still learning to see myself in the faces of those I meet. And those I meet do not always see themselves in me. It is strange to stand with one foot in the forest and the other in the city, Source Hunter. I am glad that now I have you standing beside me. Cool. So I'm guessing she will she'll follow me. Cool! Yeah. Let's see if we can trade, because I believe she's an archer. Mm. If I, I let go of... Oh, nice detail, she's like dirty on her hands and stuff. Yeah. I'll give Medora to you. Hmm. Maybe, oh, is it because I'm too far away? No, no. It appears that we have to um, stay with the ones we have recruited. Yeah, well, that doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. In, in combat, we're... Alright, so this seems... Yeah, it's the Legion's headquarters. And he no is... Cost. I believe... He's in here. Yeah. This guy walking around. Yeah, there he is. That's him. Let's go in. Talk to him. What have we here, then? A so-called source hunter, eh? Well, look. Do what you must in Sysil, but don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? Tell me about yourself. <laughs> I'm Captain Aureus, if you must know, leader of the Legion in Sysil. By which I mean I have the enviable task of commanding a battalion of walking dead. For I fear it may well be but a matter of time before the undead undo all my soldiers and turn them into dribbling hordes of their own misshapen number. Let's discuss Jake Smur. Gods above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar! Ridiculous! I told that wizard brat of an Ahu not to bother, but he just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians! They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery is afoot. Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop. Understand? I am in command of this town. Not Mayor Cecil, not Ahu, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. So investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined, but report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you! 
Oh, but first, in regards to Jake's wife, Esmeralda. Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, well, widow. Everyone in town, down to the crabs on the beach, is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. Ooh. What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Hardly. But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason, see? Not idle superstition. I'd like to ask some additional questions. Oh, if you must. Oh, there's a lot here. So your main problem is the undead. Bravo! Figured that one out, did you? I haven't been stuck here for two years because we're being besieged by fluffy kittens, you know. Those brain-feasting freaks out there keep on coming. And it takes all the sword arms and all of our Who's half-baked contraptions to keep them at bay. Keeping them at bay, that is all we do. Were that I could break their backs once and for all. We can't get the picture of an army of kittens trying to besiege a town out of my head now. How are you enjoying, Sisal? It's probably not a question to ask him, but I'm gonna do it anyway. How am I enjoying it? <laughs> are you spoiling for a fight, Hunter? Are you? Sisal stinks of fish, reeks of orcs, and on a good day, the wind disperses the stench of decomposing corpses. I can't remember the last time I had a proper piece of steak. And by now, I wretch at the mere sight of sardines. So in conclusion, I am NOT enjoying Sicil! Okay then. Tell me more about the Legion. We are the pride of Rivalon. To be found and to okay, be close. seen everywhere. <laughs> we don't hide in the dark and lurk in corners like some I could mention. No. We protect the civilized from the barbaric. And we do so impeccably. What's your opinion? Are the orcs going... Are the orcs doing... What, in your opinion... Oh, God, I'm an idiot. What, in your opinion, are the orcs doing on I'd the beach? I'd say they are looking for weak spots in our defences. They can't make an attack over land for fear of Ahu's magical machines, so they're trying their luck by sea. They won't succeed, though. Not against the Legion. Ahu tells me he suspects a sect might be working... Around Cecil. Yes, and he also spends most of his time in the guise of a cat, licking God's knows which body parts. Sects. Sorcerers. He'll be seeing flying carpets next. Mm, I'll take my leave. Just talk to him again, make sure we got all in. The source hmm. hunter. Additional questions. If you must. Yeah, that seems to, uh, to be it. All right, so now that we have permission to go in there, we should go back to the crime scene and see what we can can find. Yep. Well, Esmeralda is right here, so we could also go talk to her. Mm. She's in here somewhere? Yeah, let's just do that. We're right next to her. Unless, do you think it's a good idea taking a look at the crime scene first? Maybe talking to her might... Lock some of that off. Yeah. Let us through, scrub lord. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't. Spoken to her ears, ears. Let us inside, please. Captain, not exactly the friendliest bloke, the captain, is he? Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. Yay! Right, so what? Star stone. Oh! Ah! 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 Well, that's um, unfortunate. What? what happened? Is this a dream? Oh, goody. I didn't think so. That stone, somehow it sent us flying into the stars. Oh shit. Oh god, we're gonna get our fucking souls sucked out of our asses. 
Oh shit. Rawr. <clears throat> that is, how can I help you, my friend? Mm-hmm. This is uh, quite the place. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It will consume us all. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. By the quill that lasts a billion words, what's this? Two Rivalonians here at the end of space and time? How very, very, very curious. Who are you, and how did you get here? Oh yes, 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 proper introductions. Zigzax the historian at your service. It is my job to record all that was, and is, and hopefully, all that is to be. As for how I got here, well, for a historian appointed by the gods themselves, hopping to the end of time is as easy as one, two, three. How you got here, though, that's a rather more interesting question. On such a tiny and rapidly shrinking vestige of space and time, I wouldn't have expected to find a soul but my own shadow. Why is this place, as you say, shrinking? Ah, at last a question I can answer most definitively. I mentioned already that this place is the end of time. If that didn't send your heart into your stomach and your pulse a flutter, it should have. Time ought naturally to have no end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. But something totally, utterly terrible has happened. How can time come to an end? Show, don't tell, I always say. <laughs> so go, peer through yonder looking lens. So you're a bush your here, okay. To be terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. That imp may be quite, quite mad. Then we had better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. Mm, yes, let's. Oh my god, it's a space dog. You looked. You saw. Terrifying, isn't it? What's this? The portal. It's... It's... The portal has become active. Fantastic. Astounding. Onward we should go. Uh, about that. Uh, how about f fuck that? You, dear stranger, you must be the key. Oh, great. Something about your presence here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Those oh, torches! Good. A light! This portal active once more! It cannot be coincidence! Also, Six X has a soul patch. I don't know what you feel about that. <laughs> There's so much to take in, I'd nearly forgotten. And what you saw has been haunting my mind since I first discovered it. It is the void itself! The dragon that is devouring creation! When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. I can't say for sure where it came from, how or why, but I do know this. It's shrinking our future by the second. And if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen. Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes. The chronicler of time knows a pattern when he sees one. Ah, 
Though I cannot say for certain if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. In fact, every last question that ever plagues your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... But why spoil the mystery? As soon as we leap through, we'll find out for certain. After you... <laughs> through the portal, then. Oh, what wonders we may find on the other side. I hope it's cheese. You I could go for some cheese right but now. Don't dilly-dally. Don't dilly-dally. So did you uh, loot everything here? Look at the, the table and all that. Uh, yeah, there was only some beer. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap now. Uh. So I am thinking that maybe we stop here for today uh, and see what's okay. through the portal for the next video. I'll be taking a nap here, recharging. I spend a lot of mental energy doing these videos. So uh, until next time, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching and. Uh, Enjoy that. Yeah, next time we'll go through the portal and, and hopefully you will actually get one mission done without having being interrupted by the end of time and all kinds of other fabulous nonsense. Um, Gears is trying to spoon me right now, so uh, I think it's a good time to go. See you next time. <laughs>